What's going on, fam? It's been a while. When was the last time we did it? Ah, a few weeks ago, probably with the concepts. Anyway, it's been a few weeks since I uh, did a review. Uh, coming up to the end of the year, a lot of shoes are going to be releasing. A lot of drops coming up. Uh, Black Friday is uh, a few days away. So, um, you know, if you've been keeping up to up to date with all your sneaker information, you know that um, there's a ton of shit that's going to be dropping between now and the end of the year. I'm not going to name them all. Um, again, use a computer, figure it out. Um, <laughs> Dick. <laughs> anyway, um, two weeks ago, I believe, a burn rubber dropped a new balance that um, kind of came out of nowhere, really. There really wasn't much hype behind it. It was um, kind of like um, kind of like a quick release almost uh, the information popped out a week later the shoes dropped um, the the shoe itself is uh, you know a, a, it's a burn rubber that, I mean, that's that's the best way to put it simple clean materials on point uh, but the history behind the, the shoe uh, the reason why they did it is, is pretty dope actually as far as the history they chose a 577 with uh, Detroit obviously being the backstop of it all. Uh, they call this shoe the Boxer. It has the history uh, dating back to uh, you know one of the most famous Detroit boxers, Joe Lewis. Um, if you read the story, Sneaker News had a had a story. Uh, Joe Lewis. <laughs> Joe, he kicked Joe Lewis his ass. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> Joe Lewis had a little history. If you don't know that uh, that quote, <laughs> you, should hang, you, you should hang. You should hang yourself if you don't. Yeah, you on. should hang yourself if you don't know that. Go, quote. go right coming to America. You know <laughs> what we're talking about. Um, anyway, uh, Joe Lewis, obviously one of the most famous boxers ever. Uh, before he became a boxer, he actually took to um, violin lessons because his mom kind of pushed him to it. Yeah, it makes. Um, it makes no sense. Maybe he got his ass kicked playing the violin. Yeah, he might have. He might have. But uh, he went from <laughs> violin to being one of the best boxers ever. Um, the shoe right here is a representation of all that. Again, burn rubber. You know, they're they're true to their roots. They're true to you know their hometown of Detroit. Uh, they definitely keep it real. And you know, the hats off to that man. You, you know, you gotta definitely give these guys credit. You know, Detroit's been going through. A ton of shit for the past 10, 15 years, you know. Um, really don't want to get into the negative of, of it all, but you know they're they're keeping it they're keeping it close to their heart with you know with the release and whatnot. So um, hats off to them. So here you go, the Burn Rubber 577 New Balance. 577 is being used a lot this year. There's been um, you know other collabs that that, that use the 577. Uh, besides this, the most recent being the Autobahn pack. Then you had uh, the Hypercats, obviously. Um, you know, so the 577 is definitely being utilized uh, quite a bit by you know a few of a um, few of the shops out there. A lot of few of the designers. I think we might see um, one more, maybe two more 577s down the road before the year is up. Uh, but for now, looking at this, the Burn Rubber, the Boxer shoe. Clean, clean and simple. The shoe is 100%. It's that kick-ass kangaroo leather. Um, I don't really, you know, fuck with the an all leather shoe too much, but when it comes to using, you know, that premium soft uh, kangaroo leather, I can't, I can't say no to it. You know, the colorway again is simple. Brown, black, white. Uh, gum sole bottom, you, can, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Um, but let's get into a little bit of the details of the shoe. Um, first you know, from, that looks like a combination of a pair of gloves, like a speed bag, a heavy oh, bag. You, pair, you know, that's you, you, you from somebody that boxes. That's really you kind that, of that went, shoe went is. Into my, um, yeah, my I'm sorry. But sorry. Anyway, <laughs> as, as, uh, big mouth. Um, big mouth behind you. Uh, Johnny Gunn says uh, they use the the colors. To represent the materials of a, of a boxer back in the day, Joe Lewis, um, you know, they didn't really have much color when it came to you know their boxing equipment, you know, materials, whatnot. So the colors were 
you know, pretty simple. Black and brown was pretty much the only type of leather you could get back then. Um, so as John mentioned, the gloves represented and, you know, the speed bag, the heavy bag, whatever, um, whatever else they might have used. Toe box, all black, premium kangaroo leather. Um, it's not perforated. Everything's solid, one piece. Okay, going to the side paneling. Again, um, you got um, the black leather on the saddle, the brown leather in the actual logo with the, um, you know, the logo base being a white leather. You got hits of white leather in the base of the toe cap as well. Then the only thing different as far as materials are concerned, you got the, the white end cap made of, um, you know, solid plastic material. Uh, right there in the uh, in the ankle wrap. Okay, cool thing is uh, it came with a little hang tag, burn rubber hang tag. Okay. Um, then the heel wrap itself is all brown premium kangaroo leather. Okay, nothing fancy flashy about it. Again, you have the um, the white heel guard uh, on the base of the uh, of the heel tab. Okay, and then the materials. All the same, go all the way around the shoe. All right. Um, the other thing that you noticed um, in the tongue, you know, let me uh, let me untie these. You don't see your your typical New Balance logo on the tongue here. Um, just NB five seven seven, which is pretty dope. Kept it clean. Uh, kept it simple as well. The coolest thing of the shoe, um, the insoles. Pull these bad boys out, and then you're gonna see where they get the uh, the kind of the story from, the inspiration. Kick Joe Lewis's ass. <laughs> <laughs> the little things that get him. Uh... Simple minds. Right. So as you can see, there's a boxing glove. There's a towel next to it. Again, representing the uh, the boxing lifestyle. Insole is cool. It's dope. Uh, I like the way they uh, they use the uh, the equipment as part of the shoe in the insole. You know, again, keeping it simple, but um, still sticking to the roots of uh, of Detroit and you know the whole um, the boxing the theme. So um, hats off, man. Hats off to uh, to Burn Rubber, the guys over there. They did a, a kick-ass job again with this New Balance collab. Um, one last thing, gum sole bottom, okay? Can't go wrong with gum sole. Uh, you know, that's pretty much the... I wish more sneakers came with the gum sole bottom. Yeah, that's pretty much the staple on, you know, having a, having a good collab, a good release. You know, you, you, you kind of have to go. You can't get away from using a gum sole bottom. Uh, it's clean. Uh, it pretty much goes with almost any type of color scheme out there. So, you know, there you have it. The... Um, Burn Rubber 577 Boxers, awesome shoe. Again, shout out to the guys, to the guys over at Burn Rubber. They really murdered this shoe. Um, one of my personal favorites. Uh, a few of you have been asking me if there's gonna be um, another end of the year sneaker debate top 20 countdown. Um, last year I did it with a few, um, a few other guys. Um, as of right now, that's not looking uh, to be in the cars, but um, I am planning on I'm doing pretty much my own top 20 um, if uh, worst case scenario. So be on the lookout for that. Top 20. Top 20. There no 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 need to go crazy, man. A lot of shoes drop, but there's only 20 that should stick in everybody's mind. Um, again, Black Friday this week. <clears throat> What's coming out this Friday? Well, if, uh, again, if you're not uh, staying on top of your sneaker news, uh, Ronnie Fly got in Kith NYC, dropping a New Balance mm -hmm. 1600 Daytona. Mm -hmm. um, today he. Uh, this is the first time I've been excited for a shoe in a while. There you go. He also um, um, released a lookbook today for some of the apparel that's coming out with it, too, so you know, take a look at it. Uh, be on the lookout for that on Friday. Um, and there you have it. Again, more shoes coming. End of the year, it's going to go go quick, but it's going to be crazy. So, 
to be on the lookout for more videos and then um, you know the top 20 countdown um, it's gonna happen one way or the other so um, you know just stay tuned and um, we'll see you on the next one peace